In this lesson, we'll take a look at some properties of similar triangles and also congruent triangles. Uh, we're going to take a look at two definitions on the first page. First of all, what congruent is, although we're going to emphasize mostly what similar is in this note. If we look at the two triangles ABC and DEF here, those triangles are exact copies of one another. They're exactly the same size. Uh, AB is the same size as DE, AC is exactly the same size as DF, and BC is exactly the same length as EF. Now, those triangles then are called congruent triangles, and hence we have our definition here. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF, and this is a symbol for congruent. It's an equal sign with a tilde over the top. Now those two triangles are, are congruent if and only if all of these properties hold. If we say ABC is congruent to DEF, then that means that side AB is equal to side DE. Notice that A and B are the first two letters here, so that would be the same side as the first two letters in this triangle. AC, which is the first character and the, and the third, should equal DF, the, again, the first character and the third. And also BC, the last two, should equal EF. And so we have three corresponding equal sides. Now not only are the, all the sides correspondingly equal, but the angles would be as well. So angle A would be equal to angle D. That's what this says here. Angle B would equal angle E. And angle C would equal angle F. And so that's the property of congruent triangles. Now, similar triangles are two triangles that, again, the, the angles are corresponding equal, but one of the triangles is an enlargement of the other, like enlarging a photograph. And so, this if we take a look at and compare triangle ABC and GHI, GHI looks like all the angles are the same, and they are intended to be, but the sides have become larger and they're approximately doubled in the diagram here. It looks like GH is approximately double AB. There is some ratio. It doesn't have to be a whole number like 2. You know, uh, GH could be 2.75 times AB. Uh, so there is some common ratio between the sides. So this ABC is similar to triangle GHI and this is a symbol for similar if and only if the, cor the ratio of the sides are constant. So uh, the ratio of side AB to GH, and that's what this ratio says here, is, is the same as the ratio of AC to GI, and that's what this uh, ratio says here, is in the same ratio as BC to HI, and that's the last one here. So there's a common ratio between the sides. For example, the larger triangle, perhaps the uh, sides are three times the length of the uh, sides in the smaller triangle. But it doesn't, how much, it doesn't matter how much the second one is enlarged, the core angles are still correspondingly equal. So angle A and angle G are equal, angle B and angle H are equal, and angle C and angle I are also equal. So that's the definitions of congruent and similar. And again, we're going to focus mostly on similar here, <clears throat> but you kind of need to take a look at the definition of congruent at the same time. So the next two pages, we're going to take a look at a few examples. And, and this example, it says, show that these two triangles are similar. And so we have this uh, flagpole over here and, uh, and a guy standing beside it. Notice that the line of sight between the top of the flagpole and this point in the ground goes actually right past the head of this guy standing here. So the two triangles are the triangle ABC and ADE. Now in order to show that two triangles are similar, we can show that the uh, ratio of the sides are the same or uh, that all the angles are correspondingly equal. And just to complete the triangle here, I'm going to join C to B. Now in these two triangles, angle CAB and in the smaller triangle, angle CAB would be this angle right here. And that's the same as angle EAD. If we look in the triangle, angle EAD is actually the same angle. And so, 
we call that a common angle. That's angle CAB in the small triangle is actually the same angle as EAD in the big triangle. And so the two angles have to be the same because they are actually the same angle. Now, if we take a look at another pair of angles, angle CBA, CBA, as long as he's standing upright and the flag is straight up and down, should equal angle EDA, EDA would be this angle right here. And that's because both those angles are 90 degrees. So this is a right angle here, just like this is a right angle over here. Now, we could state the third angle, this angle over here, which I could call ACB, should be the same as this angle up here, because as long as this line is parallel to the flagpole, those are corresponding angles and they are equal. We don't really need to list that last pair of angles because as soon as the uh, angle uh, CAB and EAD are the same and we have the right angles, then the third angles have to automatically be equal. And that's because of the fact that uh, in uh, any uh, triangle, the sum of the angles is always 180 degrees. So we can now state that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE this is a small triangle, A, B, C, is similar to the large triangle, A, D, E. And the reason for that is because we have found two pairs of equal angles. If you want to list the third pair, that would be okay. And then you could say that there's three pairs of equal angles, and so the triangles have to be similar. So to show two triangles are similar, you could show that the uh, corresponding angles are equal. That's one method.